Hey everybody, my name is Chris Linsell with TheClothes.com here to share with you the most common real estate scams and what to look for so you and your clients don't fall victim to them. Let's go. Every year, real estate-based scams cost buyers, sellers, renters, and landlords billions of dollars in the United States. Yeah, I said billions with a B. But if you know the scams and you know what the warning signs are, you're much less likely to fall for them. So here are the most common real estate scams and the warning signs that you should keep an eye out for. Scam number one is the down payment wire fraud scam. And here's how it works. A scammer will hack into the email account of a title company or a mortgage company or heaven forbid, even your email as a real estate agent or broker. And they'll silently observe the email correspondence and once they learn of a client that has a closing date, they spring their trap by creating a fake email account that looks like it's coming from someone within the transaction. And they'll send an email with fraudulent wiring instructions, you know, where to send their payments, like, like their down payment, often tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Guys, once money is wired somewhere, it's extremely difficult to recover. So knowing how to avoid this is key. Now, unfortunately, spotting warnings, the warning signs to the scam are very difficult. So you have to prepare ahead of time. Make sure that you know the protocol as an agent and as a buyer or seller for wiring instructions. Know where that communication is coming from, know uh, when you can expect it, and that way you can spot it when it doesn't feel right. Better yet, link up your bank and your closing company directly so that they can execute that transfer without you being a part of it. That way you won't have to worry about losing your hard-earned money. Scam number two is an annoying one for listing agents, and it's an expensive one for would-be renters. It's the Craigslist rental scam. Scammers will head over to places like Zillow, they'll scrape property details and even listing photos for homes, and then they'll create fraudulent ads on Craigslist advertising these homes as rentals. The scam comes in when someone inquires about one of these rentals, the scammer will require a showing fee or a application deposit just to see the property, one that they don't even have access to anyway. If you're a listing agent, you can help avoid this scam by making it a point to check Craigslist maybe once a week to make sure that none of your listings are there as fraudulent rentals. If you're a renter, remember, reputable landlords will never ask you to pay anything just to see a property. You're never going to be asked to pay um, uh, a deposit that's not in conjunction with a lease, so don't let anyone convince you that a deposit is necessary just to get your foot in the door. If they do, they're scamming you. Scam number three. This is an especially cruel one. It's the foreclosure relief scam. When you're behind on your house payments and the bank has started the foreclosure process, it can be a very scary time. So when someone comes knocking at your door offering you foreclosure relief, well, it can feel like an answer to prayers, but more than likely, it's nothing but a scam. Remember, foreclosure action is public, so anyone, anyone can see it, including scammers. Though going door to door offering foreclosure relief services isn't illegal, more often than not, those who are taking this approach are doing so nefariously. So if anyone is asking you to put a cash payment down for services, always verify the legitimacy of their company. You can do this by visiting their website, checking out the reviews, reviewing their social media. If somebody can't back up their business claims with these sorts of community verification devices, they're most likely scammers and don't give them your money. Scam number four is a con that I like to call the invisible home. This scam is typically run when a market is very hot and buyers are at the disadvantage. Like if you've got a seller's market, something we've got right now in the United States. Agents will have a home that's coming to the market, uh, but they can't divulge the home details yet, you know, for one reason or another, like an exact address, for instance, or other verifiable details. They might have some fancy listing photos, they might even have some details that a home buyer would really want to hear, things like bedrooms, bathrooms, finishes, 
renovation projects, that sort of thing. Lots of stuff that you'd want to hear in a hypothetical home, but they don't have anything that you could actually cross-reference with another source. Since buyers are so desperate, they might consider the idea of putting an offer on a property like this. But that's where the scam comes in because the agent requires some sort of good faith deposit so that the seller knows that a buyer is serious. Now let me be totally clear on this. If someone is trying to sell you something that you can't get all the details on, they're scamming you. Run in the other direction. And while you're running, stop at the police station and report them because this sort of stuff has to stop. The last scam that I want to talk about is called lipstick on a pig. And this actually happens a lot more than I would like to believe, but it's out there and it's happening. So we as agents have to be thoughtful about this. This scam happens when a home seller knows that there is some sort of critical defect in their property, but they cover it up and they don't disclose this defect on the seller's disclosure statement. This happens a lot with water damage, happens a lot with uh, mold, it happens a lot with fire damage. Where this really becomes a problem is scammers will then get a home inspector in on the con. They'll promise them a certain dollar figure if they go along with this and they'll get a fraudulent pre-sale home inspection report to present to any buyers. Now, to be clear, this isn't illegal. It's not even a bad idea. In fact, I think it's a great idea for home sellers to get an inspection done prior to listing their home for sale. But where this uh, becomes uh, a scam is when sellers start encouraging buyers to not do their own home inspection or just flat out denying them the ability to do a home inspection as a part of the contract process. If somebody is denying you the ability to do a home inspection, they're scamming you. Now you can certainly waive a home inspection period in order to be competitive uh, with your offer, but if a seller or a seller's agent is not allowing the inspection process to happen, this has the, all of the earmarks of a scam. So you wanna make sure to avoid that. That's it guys. It's up to us as the leaders in our industry to make sure that we don't get scammed and that our clients don't get scammed. So be proactive about protecting yourself and protecting the people that you work for. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. And while you're down there, why don't you hit the subscribe button and that little notification bell. That way we can let you know anytime we've got new content. Again, my name is Chris Linsell with TheClothes.com. We'll see you next time.